Hardware. The first thing we're showing here is the hardware of your computer. These are the parts of the computer you can see, touch, or hold. We have a picture of the monitor. It's also called the screen. This is the part of the computer that lets you see what the computer is doing. It looks like a TV screen and is used in much the same way. Here's the keyboard. It is one of the things that we use to communicate to the computer what we want it to do. Here is the mouse. It is a lot like the keyboard in that we use it to talk to the computer. It is connected with a small arrow that moves around on the computer screen. You use the mouse to tell the arrow where you want to go on the computer screen. Next is the printer. You can use this to print information that you have found or created in your computer or on the internet. Here is the floppy disk drive. The floppy disk drive is used as a place to save work that you have created or information that you have found on the computer. The CD-ROM is next. It looks a lot like the floppy disk drive. Here, CDs or DVDs are used to save information or display movies or music on your computer for your entertainment or education. Turning on your computer is very simple. All you have to do is press the power button once and be sure that your monitor's power button is also on. Starting with the mouse. To hold the mouse, put the palm of your right hand on the end of the mouse that is not attached to the cord. Place your pointer finger on the left button of the mouse. Place your middle finger on the right button of the mouse. Some mice have small round scrolling buttons in the middle of the right and left button. The left button is the main button that you use on the mouse. When someone tells you to click on anything, the left button is usually the button you will use. Software. To find the programs that are in your computer, click on the start button. Remember that when we say click, we mean for you to press the left button of your mouse once. After you click the start button, a menu will appear. In the start menu, click on programs. Notice that there is an arrow pointing away from the word programs. When you see an arrow like this, it means that there is a sub-menu within that menu option. Clicking on programs or simply holding your mouse pointer over the word programs will open up this sub-menu. Here's the list of all the programs that your computer has. You would simply click on the program that you want to use. Now, move your mouse pointer to the desktop. The desktop is the large open space on your screen that contains icons. The icons are like shortcuts to the programs that you can also find by using the start button as we have just done. They are the small, inch-by-inch -inch pictures that are lined up on your desktop. Windows. First, find the icon on your desktop that connects you to the internet program on your computer. If you do not find an icon on your desktop, simply use the start menu to find this program. A box or window will pop up on your desktop. This means that the internet program is now open or running. Also, a small box will pop up on the bar that runs along the bottom of your screen. This bar is called the task bar. It contains small boxes of all the programs your computer is running at that time. By opening your internet program, there should be a small box in the task bar reminding you that the program is running. Just like the task bar runs along the bottom of your screen, the title bar runs along the top of the window you have just opened. In the right corner of the title bar, there are three small boxes. The box with the small line at the bottom is the minimize button. The middle box with the square or squares in it is the Restore or Maximize button. The box in the far right corner of the title bar that contains an X is the Close button. Clicking the Minimize button hides your window on your desktop, but keeps the program running in your taskbar. Click on the box in the taskbar to make the window reappear on the desktop. Clicking the Maximize or Restore button will change the standard size of your window. Clicking the close button will close your program so that it is no longer running. Resizing the window means you can make the window as big or small, skinny or wide as you would like. To resize your window, put your mouse pointer on the lower right corner of your window. Wait until your pointer turns into a double-sided arrow. When this happens, click and hold the left mouse button. Move the mouse until you like the size or shape of your window. To move the window around, click on the title bar at the top of the window and hold the mouse button down. Move the mouse around until your window is where you want it. This completes our computer basics tutorial. How to use the mouse. We will be visiting a website that can teach you a little bit more about using the mouse. In the address bar, type www.themlc.org slash comp skills with no spaces. 
This will bring you to a web page that has several links on it. Click on the mouse aerobics link. You will know you're in the right place if you see a dancing mouse on the screen.